Hey everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And this little video is going to be about some of the brand new blocks and quilts that I have come up with um, that will I'll be debuting at the New Bronzeville's Area Quilt Guild show this coming week. It is July 26th through the 27th at the New Bronzeville Civic Center in New Bronzeville, Texas from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, uh, their theme this year is Peace, Love, and Flower Power. And frankly, what, what better way could you go than the, the one of the very first ones I've created here? Um, this is a pattern from a bit orange. It's actually a long arm pattern, but uh, I've done it as a small block. And this is my contribute excuse me, my contribution to um, Flower Power. I, I love this one. And I'm going to talk about some of the new products I have that I actually colored this with here in a minute. Now, right above it, I sure hope everybody can figure out what these blocks are saying. If not, text or comment below and um, I'll, I'll kind of fill you in. But the minute I saw these blocks, I knew I had to create a, a quilt out of them. And I'm, I'm really thrilled to death. And I hope that those of you who get this uh, will uh, appreciate this as a, as a little wall hanging. The next series that I've got here, I've been working on these for quite some time, actually. Um, but I've now finally gone from just the one down at the bottom, which was originally just supposed to be a um, kind of exhibition of the new Preciosa crystals that I've been carrying, but everybody loved it so much that I'm not now going to carry it as a kit, as well as the two above. Now, let me zoom in here. Um, you might be able to see there's bling on that one, as well as this one up here. These will come with bling kits as an option if you would like it. So, you know, if, if, if you're interested, um, all these will eventually get on my website. I have to say at the moment, they are not there as I'm really trying to get ready for the show first before I actually um, go back and manage my website. So the other quilt that I've done, this is an oldie but goodie um, that I've kind of changed around a bit. I did this quilt probably about 10 years ago, maybe even longer than that. And I've had several people ask me for some Texas themed quilts, so I am obliging. I uh, did change the blocks around a bit and also change the blocks themselves, as well as create a new type of pattern. Now this pattern, if you want it, um, it will be available at some point down, <clears throat> excuse me, down the road. Um, but at the moment, they're just half square triangles with a couple of applique stars that I put on there. But I'll be <clears throat> more than happy to tell you how I ended up doing. So along that uh, same theme, let me come down here and to this block first. Um, this is my new m newest love. I, I actually created this pattern um, in AI. Uh, yes, you can do that. And then had it digitized. Then I colored it, and I had brought this out to a couple of shows over the last month or so, and this seems to have been met with a lot of uh, positive reviews, so I've now turned it into a little wall hanging. I will be doing this as a full kit. This will be available uh, first as a kit at the New Bronzeville show. Then the next series that I've done, and I have had these patterns for quite some time, but I've really, really, I love the Southwest theme. And I had done the cow skull. This is an Urban Threads pattern, by the way. And you can tell that it's all blinged out. So it will be a coloring slash bling kit available. And then, oh, oh but when I th one thing I want to point out is <clears throat> I actually have appliqued both of these blocks onto this batik fabric. So the one below it is this buffalo, which I just think is so cool. Now, this is an embroidery library pattern. And I had to kind of basically recreate this pattern in order that it could be a coloring type of pattern. Um, if you were to go look at this on Embroidery Library, it is actually a full scale, full embroidery pattern. And it takes like 80 or 90,000 stitches. Well, I've reduced that substantially to just the outlines. 
um, and then you can come in and color it. It too has been appliqued on the back. Now, back to this quilt that I did or this little wall hanging, those colors are um, neons and I have to confess that I have decided to start carrying a small line of paints. And I, I know many of you may have seen my um, reviews of Purely Pigments. It's a type of pure pigment concentrate that I have found actually works very well with fabric and with my fabric medium. So I decided to start carrying limited <laughs> supplies of this. I don't want to get into the business of actually making colors, but sometimes the colors just aren't out there. And so I've come up with these. Now, just to give you a quick glimpse, this is what the list looks like. Um, you can see that the colors are very bright and vibrant. And there are a couple of other blocks. Um, in fact, the, and I par apologize for flipping around the room, um, this one right here was also done. This mandala was also done with the, with the neons. So the coloring kits that I end up creating will be based on these particular colors. Now that's not to say that you can't go use, for instance, gel pens. I mean, I think gel pens would be fantastic on this one um, because of these small, tiny little areas, but the paints really did a great job too. So there you have it. Um, I am going to be at the Plano show in August, Crossroads to Texas show in Colleen in August, the Fredericksburg uh, quilt show in late August, and then the Austin show in September um, before I head on to do the Houston quilt show that I'll be teaching at. So if you have any questions about any of these patterns or if one really catches your eye and it's not on the website, please feel free to contact me at Medina Dom Arts. That's M-E-D-I-N-A-D-O-M-A-R-T-S at AOL.com. And hopefully I look forward to seeing some of you here at all these shows I'll be at over the next six weeks. As always, thanks for watching.